welcome to Laced in Defence, where we bring you today's breakthroughs that could transform tomorrow's battlefield. In this edition, we're looking at how innovations from entirely new sources are revolutionising military technology. BAE Systems has borrowed 3D printing technology from civil aerospace to make parts for tornado jets. A harbour guidance system takes bad weather and human error out of bringing Navy ships into port. And a robot, developed by university researchers, could inspire the military by using sensors in an entirely new way to climb tricky stairs. 3D printing was very much the hot technology topic of last year. Now, BAE Systems has announced that Eurofighter tornadoes made using 3D printed parts have flown for the first time out of the company's airfield in Walton, Lancashire. These parts include protective covers for cockpit radios, support struts on the air intake door and guards for power takeoff shafts. These will be supplied for four squadrons of Tornado DR4 models and could save the RAF as much as £1.2 million pounds between now and 2017. Savings like these are bound to propel 3D printing of military aircraft parts into the mainstream in the near future. Inspired by successes like this, BAE Systems material engineers have been helping make high-tech equipment for Team GB at the Sochi Winter Olympics. And so civil innovation inspiring military technology has turned full circle. Another platform awash with new technology is the European Multi-Mission Frigate, or FREM, built by DCNS. Designed for the French and Italian navies, it comes in general purpose, anti-submarine and air defence variants. Not content with all that new equipment on board, DCNS has recently unveiled a new method for getting them into harbour. Here you can see FREM Frigate Provence being towed to the mouth of the Lorient shipyard. Halfway in, tow ropes are attached to a new rail system on both sides that guide it in very precisely to the docking point. A system like this could prevent a ship being buffeted against the dockside if it came into port in heavy seas. A great way of protecting a significant and pricey naval asset. As a die-hard Doctor Who fan, I was terrified when the new generation of Daleks found a way to get upstairs. Now there's no escape. But while making robots hover like Daleks may be some years away, Negotiating steps has been a key goal for military robot manufacturers. University of Maryland researchers have built a four-legged robot called Scalebot, designed for outdoor urban terrain. Using only on-board sensing and computation, Scalebot can automatically climb different size and shape steps, and it knows when to swap between walking and climbing. The robot uses ultrasonic and tactile sensors to locate and match the stairs, which improves on the infrared and visual systems that give unreliable results outside. While Scalebot is just a researcher at the moment, it certainly has some technologies the military could be very interested in. In this edition of Latest in Defence, we've looked at new sources of ideas that could help solve military problems. Sometimes it's unusual breakthroughs in the laboratory, factory or university that deliver the winning difference on the battlefield. For more technology that could transform the face of future combat, check out strategicdefenseintelligence.com. Take care and see you next time on Latest in Defence.